Hello everyone, Radar11x here again with another World of Tanks gameplay commentary. Um, as you can see, I have my M10 out again, and um, I am actually pretty well off in this uh, the listing here. Though, as you can see, the Emity team does have some pretty nice heavy tanks. Uh, the T1HT, the N2 uh, T14s. So they have a good allotment of medium tanks to back them. So it's not going to be necessarily an easy fight. But um, as you see, I am with uh, tune up with two others. Uh, Master of Nothing and Shroud Assassin, aka Clouded Unknown, on YouTube. And um, again, Battle Recorder is a bit janky. I wish they would uh, figure out how to fix that little issue, but we're gonna go ahead and push on. It smooths off when it smooths off. And um, let me go ahead and get the. The game views I'm actually using here. There we go. The radio man is dead. Our radio so yeah, right reduced. off the bat I lose my radio man. That's always fun. Well, as you can see, I'm using this incline and the the gun depression on my uh, tank to get these shots off on the enemy here. T14 is be a really tough nut to crack, so. I'm less inclined to engage them because they have good armor and a nice refire rate on their uh, the gun they use. It is a uh, premium tank, so you will have to get the buy in game gold currency Enemy for that. You see here, T1HT is pushed around on the south side of the castle. My best bet here is go ahead and finish gotcha. him off. Afterwards, I know there's the two T14s, which are platooned up, and um, frankly, my thought was there's no way I'm gonna be able to take both those guys on in a straight up fight. But why not try for a rear shot? Bounced off, but a bigger concern was uh, the B1 here engaging me, and that is a target I can uh, easily destroy. So. B1 trying a pretty smart move, a little late on the, the punchline though, but he tried to uh, keep me from advancing uh, down the hill there. Now, who would have took him, taken more damage from that type of uh, tactic if we had actually made contact? Um, is anyone's guess? I'm figuring I would, since the B1's actually a lot bigger, but. Who knows? So I take down the B1, going back to free look here, and um, I'm just pushing down the street to try to engage the enemy from the rear, from you know an unsuspected place. Because as far as they know, the T14s have taken the hill and are pushing in uh, to um, my team's spawn. So I'm popping in now. Rolling up on uh, to engage this Hetzer. Hetzer noticed me, so that's never fun. He doesn't have his derp, so that's a good thing. Enemy armor is destroyed. Looks like that one went right through. That's gotta hurt. The drills cut off guard and is going down. He missed his shot. I had to blow the little weird, what is that, newspaper, I don't know, bulletin board thing out of my way, but with the refire rate on the M10, uh, I have the medium gun rammer, 100% crew of course, and I managed to take about after getting the obstacle out of my way. Back to free look. Alright, so we have a B1, I believe an M4, that's in there, so I moved inside here to get a good uh, angle on them and hopefully catch them off guard Enemy is hit. as you can see the M4 is taking notice of me Enemy but I got a nice down. shot on the engine right on top of the hole where there's very little armor because he was kind of propped up in the angle and that allowed me to just get an easy hit in there and destroy him 
Now, I've always had a bad habit of getting hung up on these uh, structures, uh, the uh, curb of the, uh, the uh, what is this, train station platforms. Kinda have to watch out for that. These tracks are basically speed bumps now ever since 8.0, so you gotta be a lot more wary of that. Now, my uh, two platoon mates got wasted early on in the battle. So it's left basically to me, the KV-1 and the Hetzer. As you can see, things aren't going to go too well for the KV-1. But I'm doing my best to keep moving and flanking the enemy. That's kind of how I like to play these turreted tank destroyers. I like to uh, keep maneuvering on them. That T-14 is taking out our KV-1. I don't have a good penetration on the uh, frontal armor of the T-14. And the angle to which I was shooting would just gla glance rounds, if not bounce, so... Again, I am moving to flank. I'm trying my best not to sit in one spot. There is another T-14 out there to worry about. I'm already up to eight kills, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> It, it was it's pretty it was pretty intense uh, rushing around trying to salvage this game. The Hetzer actually uh, helped out quite a bit around the end. See that T14 is actually up, still up on the uh, hill, which is kind of a bad move for his platoon mate. Um, leaving his teammate to uh, fight against me and the Hetzer. So while he's he starts moving off the hill, um, the Hetzer and me are engaging the uh, T-14. But as you can see, the Hetzer is actually back in uh, A6. I didn't even notice that. I don't even know why he moved back there, but he did. <clears throat> I move up to get an angle. Back to uh, standard mode here. So you can see what I'm shooting at. I'm getting solid hits on the turret. We just up. The mantle of that gun I couldn't pin. I'm down to three AP rounds. So things are getting a bit tighter here. And so with the two AP rounds, I was my thought here was to basically go ahead, push up, and get sure shots for those last two AP rounds. Have never been a stickler to use the uh, with the um, HE, but um, I'm just rushing up to get close, using these uh, burnout tanks for cover, and the heads are finished off the um, that T14. Alright, so I'm using basically all this wreckage for cover now. I'm not sure which direction the uh, last T-14 is coming from until now. And so I move my tank around to flip it around. You see some really unexperienced or dumb players just turn their turret and just engage like that. Which, <laughs> you know, it's always a good thing to have your frontal armor facing the enemy. Even better if you can get it at an angle where you can do a glancing round, glance rounds off the uh, frontal armor of your tank if it has the proper slope. Now I'm down the HE, which is all right, factoring that I have the, um, I still have a good amount of damage being done to him with it. So the T-14 is falling back because he's getting pressured by the Hetzer off to my left and frankly he probably should have tried engaging that Hetzer from the corner he backed around the front armor probably could do alright against that Hetzer's currently uh, armed gun 
Alright, now the T-14 moves up. Looks like that one I start right hammering, um... That one can go through. Hammering the T-14 with the HE. The Hetzer's doing alright, so that uh, T-14 was having trouble hitting. I engage. He bounces rounds off me. Enemy is hit. And another round Enemy into him with the HE, and he's done. So even without a pin, I can still do some surface damage and knock off HP with the um, HE rounds. As you can see, my tank has took quite a beating, but um, the victory is ours. And um, that will be it for this uh, game gameplay commentary. It was a pretty good battle. I mean, other than the fact that my team kind of got murdered at the in the first half. But um, nine kills for me. Um, I got a lot of uh, badges out of this match. I will probably, maybe, do a music video out of this. We'll see. We'll see if I will or not. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Radar11X, and I'm signing off.